Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. It's really sad because your partner is trying so hard to connect with their karmic partner. You can feel the pain and the heaviness in the air, but what makes it even harder is knowing that this other person is already in a relationship with someone else. It's like watching a sad story play out right in front of you. Your partner is reaching out, trying to make things work with their karmic partner, but it feels like there's an invisible barrier stopping them from getting through. You can see how frustrated they are, how much they want to just have some kind of connection with this other person, but it's like hitting a brick wall every time. And then there's the awful truth that this karmic relationship is just toxic. Even though they know it, your partner still holds on, maybe hoping things will get better or because they can't let go of what they once had. It's heartbreaking wanting to be close to someone who brings nothing but negativity into their life. What makes it even worse is knowing that this karmic person is about to commit to someone else. They are getting ready to marry another person, but they are so caught up in their own desires that they are willing to do whatever it takes to keep your partner interested. It's a sad reflection of their inner struggles, their inability to break free from the cycle of toxicity. You can't help but feel powerless in the face of it all. You want to help to support your partner through this tough time, but you know that ultimately the choice is theirs to make. They're the ones who have to deal with their feelings and figure things out. All you can do is be there for them, to listen and offer comfort. It's tough, but you hold onto their hope that one day, they'll find the strength to let go of this toxic relationship and move forward towards something better. Until then, you'll be there for them, a steady presence in their life, offering support and love through it all. This situation is really tough, your partner is going through a lot crying themselves to sleep every night because nothing they do seems to work with their karmic partner. It's like they are banging their head against a brick wall, trying so hard to make things work in a place where nothing grows. Your partner feels like they are stuck in a bad place, like they are the fool in a deck of tarot cards. They keep putting in all this effort, but it's like trying to grow a garden in soil that's too hard and dry, it's exhausting and it hurts. Right now, your partner feels like they've hit rock bottom. They're realizing that no matter what they do, they can't make things work with their karmic partner. It's like being stuck in the cycle that they can't break free from. Even though they know they deserve better, it's hard for them to let go. They've thought about living a different lifestyle, maybe one where they don't tie themselves down to just one person, but deep down, they want something real and meaningful. This tough situation is making your partner rethink things. They're starting to see that they don't have to stay stuck in this toxic relationship. They're finding the courage to imagine a future where they are happy and free from all this pain. It's a hard journey ahead, but your partner knows they are strong enough to make it through. They're taking small steps towards a brighter future one where they are in control of their own happiness. And even though it's tough right now, 
They are holding on to hope that things will get better. The situation is messy and hurtful. Your partner seems stuck on their ex who's moved on to another relationship. It feels like they're trying to mess things up for their ex and ruin their current relationship. It's all full of toxicity and desperation. There might have been problems between you and your partner, leading to a fallout. Now, instead of facing those problems, they're diving into this other mess, trying to handle both relationships at once, but it's clear it's not working out well for them. It's honestly embarrassing to see. Your partner is going to great lengths to mess with someone else's happiness, all for selfish reasons. They are not thinking about how it might hurt others or the consequences of their actions. They are just consumed by their own desires, unable to see the bigger picture. But in the end, it's all in vain, despite their efforts, your partner isn't making any progress in ruining their ex's relationship. It's like hitting their head against a wall painful and pointless, they are only causing themselves more pain and trouble. It's a sad situation all around. Your partner is trapped in a cycle of toxicity and manipulation, unable to break free. While it's hard to watch, there's only so much you can do to help. They need to take a good look at themselves and figure out what they truly want in life. Until then, they'll keep chasing after something that won't bring them any real happiness. Let's talk about your money and finances. You've got this amazing idea or career path you're really passionate about. It's got you super focused and determined, taking up a big part of your life. You're a real go-getter, using all your resources to chase after this dream and secure a bright future for yourself. But here's the thing, it's easy to get caught up in all the hustle and forget about taking care of yourself. You're working so hard, Sometimes it feels like you might burn out if you're not careful. It's important to recognize when you're reaching your limit and find a balance. You've got to trust that the money and success you're striving for will come to you, you're putting in the work, and you're doing enough. Your determination is really something to admire. And the fact that you show up every day, giving it your all, is truly beautiful. Remember, it's okay to take breaks and recharge, don't forget to enjoy life along the way. You're on a journey towards financial abundance, and you're doing great. Keep believing in yourself and your abilities, and you'll reach your goals in no time. Your guides want you to slow down for a moment, they're saying it's important to make sure you're not rushing into creative ideas or projects because you're afraid or feeling like you're lacking something. Sometimes, when we're under pressure, we end up forcing things that don't really fit with who we are or what we believe in. But on the other hand, don't let fear stop you from sharing your creativity and ideas with the world. It's okay to be yourself and to let your talents shine, embrace your creativity and let it flow freely.
When you come across an opportunity, take the time to read any documents or contracts carefully. It's really important to understand what you're getting into before you commit to anything. Pay close attention to the details and make sure the opportunity lines up with your values and goals. Trust in the universe and believe that you're being supported every step of the way. Follow your heart and your intuition when making decisions, let them guide you in the right direction. You're on your way to financial success, but make sure the path you're on is true to you. Don't get caught up in trying to achieve someone else's idea of success. Instead, focus on what feels right for you and what aligns with your own values and beliefs. Take the time to listen to yourself and what your heart is telling you. Stay true to who you are and what you believe in. Your journey to success should reflect your authentic self, leading you to a place of happiness and fulfillment. Trust in yourself and your journey, and everything will fall into place.